535 today America's <laughs> oldest living president is celebrating a major milestone today is President Jimmy Carter's 100th birthday and no other former president has reached that remarkable age. President Carter still in hospice at his home uh, home state of Georgia, but here in DC the Museum of the Bible is celebrating him in a very unique way. Randy Ayala joins us now uh, live inside with uh, with a look at, the, uh, at a new exhibit. Good morning to you, Randy. Yeah, good morning, guys. Truly a really historic day here. The Museum of the Bible has a brand new exhibit to celebrate uh, former President Carter reaching 100 years old. It's his own personal Bible here for the first time on display for people to come in. Uh, we're on the first floor of the museum and to talk about it this morning. I want to bring in head of curation here at the museum, uh, Bobby Duke. First of all, I have to say thank you so much for waking up this early with us, uh, but walk us through really this historic day and, and how the museum is commemorating it. Yeah, no, this is the first time we've ever had a former president reach 100 years of age. It's truly a milestone and it seems very fitting for us to use a Bible because it was during his uh, first inaugural, his inaugural address where he actually quoted from Micah 6.8, which is a passage from the Hebrew prophets that we have on display here. And in that passage, it says to uh, live justly, love mercy, walk humbly. And uh, really, Jimmy Carter's life, not just as a president, but particularly post-presidency, is one that's really captured by this concept of uh, walking humbly and uh, looking for justice. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he spent his life after presidency doing things like building homes mm -hmm. for those who uh, needed homes. So he worked with Habitat for Humanity. Um, he did so many things post-presidency that he lived two lives, mm -hmm. his life before presidency and his life after presidency. So. We are honored here at the Museum of the Bible to be able to uh, put this treasure out in celebration of his 100th birthday. And talk to me a little bit um, about the backstory too behind this Bible, who gifted it to him. Right, so uh, it was gifted from Jimmy Carter himself. Uh, we actually have a picture here where you can see uh, Jimmy standing with uh, museum uh, uh, executives when it was gifted to him. And uh, I've heard stories, I wasn't here at the time, but stories of that day when it was one where uh, they just were inspired by his humility. And mm -hmm. he, again, here was the former president of the United States, but someone who humbly sat and talked about and gifted his Bible. Um, he was an avid reader of scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually taught a Sunday school class here in Washington, D.C. and back home in Georgia. Wow. He was someone who was truly inspired by the words of scripture. So the fact that he uh, chose a passage from the prophets to really guide his presidency is something that we celebrate here at the Museum of the Bible. And I know when we were talking too, his brother gifted him this Bible right before yes. he took office. Yeah, so this was given to him in 1975 on Christmas Day. Wow. So it says right inside the front cover, uh, December 25th, 1975, from Billy and Sybil. It wow. doesn't say last names, and <laughs> again, it's your brother. You don't need to write Billy Carter or Sybil Carter, but right. again, his brother and sister-in-law were the ones who gifted him this Bible. It's such an incredible story, so much history behind it. How long do you think it's going to be on display? Well, I would say we're going to have it here uh, celebrating his life. So it could be something that we have here for quite a while. I mean, you do spend a, hunt, uh, a whole year mm -hmm. celebrating a birthday. So yeah. uh, it'd be one that uh, uh, we're not really sure how long we're going to have it here. But again, we wanted to celebrate this milestone in his life. Bobby, I appreciate you so much for being um, up with us early to talk us through this. Incredible guys come to the Museum of the Bible. So many other um, exhibits here to see as well. And again, just a really, really historic day. The first time uh, that a president has made it to 100 years old. I'll send it back to you. Such a major milestone <laughs> and a beautiful way to right. tribute our former president. I mean, we could we could talk about him forever. A peanut farmer from Plains, yeah. Georgia. He served in the Navy at the U.S. Naval Academy. I mean, on and on and on. So yeah. this so is many a aspects of yeah, his life. fitting tribute. All right, uh, Randy, thank you.